Guys, let's start up. 4.2. Put your phones away, guys. Absolutely. Even Mr. Kareem. I can see it. Okay. All right. So, this is going to be what's hard on the test. Okay. This two or more triangles business. What was the strategy I gave you if there's more than one triangle? Good. You had a good memory over there, Birch. Find the shared side. Okay. That's typically the go-to problem-solving strategy. All right. So, for example, in example one, like, how the heck am I supposed to get Y here? I probably got to get what first? X, because it's the shared side. So once you get this, then you can use 68 and X to get Y. So that is always going to be the common strategy, finding the shared side. Okay, so you can look at example one and follow their business. But let's take a look at build your skills number one on the next page. Okay, how many right triangles do you see here? Two or three? Yeah, good eyes, Sonia Brown. You can see three triangles. Okay, let me highlight them. You only see two, hey? Here's one. Do you see this one? There's one. Okay. Do you see another one? Here's another one. And then the whole thing, yeah. Does everybody see that? Okay, so you have you have three triangles that you could work with. There's a right angle right there as well. Okay? So, like, how am I supposed to get X here when I only have one angle and no sides? Mustafa, focus on me only. How am I supposed to get X when I only know one angle? What do I need? An angle and a... Yeah, you always need one angle, one side. Okay? So, let's take a look at the blue triangle. What do I have in the blue triangle? Do I only have one side? So what do I need? I need that angle there. Remember I said the whole triangle? So if this is 37, this is 90, how do I get this missing angle? Yell it out, please. It's up. Just yes. Guys, answer it for me. Okay, so what is it? How do you know it's 53? Cream, why is it 53? You shrug your shoulders? Hazik, why is it 53? Why does only Zaki know? Because he's doing the work, right? What do all the angles in a triangle add up to? And then you're all like, Mr. Line number 180, I know that. But then you can't figure it out. So what's that missing angle? Take away from 90. If this is 90, 37 and 53 also has to be 90. You got to know that, or else you're just forfeiting marks on the test. All the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So in a right angle triangle, one of them's 90. So the other two, here, I'll use my pointer. This one here, this one here, they have to add up to 90, because this one's 90 in the corner. Got it? Well, it's a junior high topic, so if you don't get it. Okay, <laughs> so here's 53. If I could go opposite and get this shared side, would I be happy? Yeah, yeah we always want shared side. That's the one we want right there. Okay. So that's op. No worries. Using this 90 in the corner, this is hype. Okay, so I got to use which one? Sine cos or tan? Which one am I using? Good, you guys, good. A lot of people getting that. So sine, what goes next to the trig thing? 
53, the angle, good. All over 1 is equal to the op, which is the shared side, all over the height, which is 4.9. This cross multiplication, do I times or divide? Good, times. 4.9 times sine 53. 3.91, people are agreeing with that? All right, 3.91. Okay, so op 3.91. That's right here. Okay? Now how to get x. Working with 37. I'm going to change colors now. Working with 37, straight across 37. Is that shared side still op? Sure is. And x would be the? Adjacent, good, because across from this 90, hypes down here. Now we're just working on the purple triangle. And the purple triangle has a 90 right here in the corner. Okay, so now we're going with sine, cos, or tan for the purple triangle. Who said that? That a boy, Josh. Tan, 37, all over 1, goes with op which we just figured out was 3.91 over the adjacent, which is x, op over edge. In this one, do I times or divide? divide? Divide, good. So if you're doing your homework, you're starting to figure out these patterns. If the x is in the bottom, we divide. Someone said 5.18. Do you agree? <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's x, 5.18. Okay, let's go to one underneath. Everybody cool on this slide? Even Mustafa? Nah. You mad, are you mad at me, Mustafa? No? <laughs> All right. OK. So ident <laughs> identify the shared side. Which one is it? X or Y? X. So which one are we going to go for first? Go for X first. Because it's shared. Right? Why is that funny? Okay, go for X. Is X an angle or a side? Side. And in that triangle that they've given you, the right angle triangle there that I'm coloring in red, what have they given you? One angle, one side, or two sides? So two sides, you only have two situations. Either it's Pythagoras, or it's a second function. Pythagoras solves for sides. Second function solves for angles. We want a side. So this is just Pythagoras. Watch me, watch me uh, rip this one off quick. Right there. Good. And you square root the result. 9.4 square plus 8.6 square. And so it's 12.7. So now we have our shared side, 12.7. Now we'll go on to the second triangle. It's going to change colors. Here's 48 degrees. Just labeling straight across. There's op. That makes the y the hype. And x is adjacent for this, uh, this blue triangle that I'm drawing. Josh. It's close. <laughs> How do you know it's close? You're quick, Josh. Why is it close, Josh? Why is it quick, Josh? Why is it close? It has the adjacent and you're looking for the hype. You're a smart man over there. Cos, what goes next to the cos? 48, all over 1, adj over hype, 12.7 over y, cross multiplying. The unknown's in the bottom, so Josh, we times or divide? Is your name Josh? But good call on the divide. 12.7, dividing cos 48.
I'm getting like 19. I think you might have rounded early there, Noelle. What'd you get? 18.9? Oh, same thing. Okay. How are we doing for time? Somebody click their phone. 32? Thank you. We have 15 more minutes of me doing math. Aren't you guys excited? You better be excited. You want to go home? Well, in 15 minutes you get to. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the best 15 minutes of your life. All right. I want to show you number B here. Number B. Okay. We got to figure out X. How are we going to figure out X? Yeah, number B. That's what we're doing. Why don't you write down what I write? Okay, you write down this question or you're not welcome next week. You're not listening to what you're saying. Huh? You're not listening to what you're saying. It's okay, number B. Number B. I have two degrees at the U of A. I think I can handle number B. Okay, <laughs> you nerds. All right. Mark that angle. Is that an angle of elevation? Focus. Look at me. Everybody. That angle that I drew. Angle of elevation? Yeah, because it goes what from the horizontal? Up. Good. 48 would be a angle of depression because it goes down from the horizontal. Good. So if we could just figure out, uh, let's call this like H1 and figure out this H2, what would you do with H1 and H2 to get X? Add them up. Beautiful. So that's all we got to do. What label is H1 and H2 on both? Good. They're both ops. Yep. And what side do they share? No. Good. Was that Sonia Brown? Good. This 6.7 is adjacent and it's shared. So for both of these triangles, which function do I use, sine, cos, or tan? Tan. Why tan? Because op and edge. Good. So tan 32 over 1, and that'll be the H1 over 6.7. Mustafa was writing, right? Thank you, sir. And tan 48. over 1 will be H2 over the adjacent 6.7. So in both of these questions, do you times or divide? Okay, times them both. And you'll notice that it's the exact same equation except what's different? The angle. The angle's different. Okay, so which one's going to be bigger, H1 or H2? H2. Why is H2 bigger? Because the angle is larger. Does that make sense? Yeah. Did I give you the wrong one? Yeah. Sorry. Burton, I got you. You're not going to find it. Okay. I got this weird system. There you go. Thank you. No worries. You my <laughs> Have a good break. Yeah, you too. Okay. Tan 32 times 6.7. I'm taken, boys. <laughs> Actually, it was my girlfriend's birthday yesterday. I took her out for this fancy dinner, and then they brought me this plate. Matt, you would have been so disappointed. <laughs> because uh, fancy places, they serve you these tiny portions. I mean... Yeah, so it was like $30. Honestly, I paid $30 for this la lamb T-bone, and I got these three little tiny pieces of lamb. Like, they were delicious. And then they're like, here's your carb. And it was like this tiny little, like, portion of, like, like seeds. I was like, what is this? Uh, it's called canteen. Because I'm a grown man. 
Okay, so I'm adding these up and I'm getting x, okay? So there's the length of x. And I'm glad we're going to have some fun. But we've got to finish this question off. Okay, so what's the other thing I need in this question? Uh, yeah, units, I agree. But we've got to figure out y as well. Okay? So which label is y? Across from the 90? Hype, good. Now that we have... Uh, well, I'll just use 6.7 because that's what they gave us. You could use Pythagorean, but I'm just going to use 48 again. So because I have adj and I want the hype, I'll use cos. Please stop swearing back there, Matt. What do you say? Thank you. All over 1, we have the adjacent side, 6.7 over the hype, which is y. In this case, we'll divide 6.7, dividing cos 48. And I'm getting... 10, basically 10.0. And like uh, Josh said, we we're missing units. So I got meters and all these. Okay. Okay, so I think most people in here are getting it. Um, I, I want everybody to have success. I want you all to pass 20-3. 20, pass 20 that means everybody has to do their part and work, right? Everybody. Right? Because you do not want to repeat this course, okay? So listen, I can stand up at the front and teach for days. But like we did in the beginning of the class, like 30 minutes of you guys trying things and actually doing some work. And some people stepping up, being a leader, and helping out others, right? We can all come together and pass. I'm proud. I saw you writing up top. All right. And some people are so self-motivated that they don't even need me to help them. Right? A lot of people over here just doing it by themselves. I'm proud of you. Okay? It's less stress for me. Make sure we're going to work hard after the break. Right? <coughs> we're going to show up on time. Right? Okay. No, no calculator trade. We still have seven minutes. That's just enough time to do one more. One more and then you're free. Mr. Wong got to this question, and I want to get to this question. Okay? Uh, it's part of being a team, right? All right. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. They want us to find x, y, and h. <coughs> Guys, thank you. All right, how are we going to do this? Anybody have any ideas? Okay, 53 degrees. I think that's the same as this one here. Anybody agree with me? Because what we have here, we have a parallel line. We have parallel line here. And then we have this, we have this transversal cutting it. I missed. That transversal cuts through. Okay, so that means, if you take a look at my pointer, this is from 10-3, this angle is corresponding to this angle. So this is 53 right here. Okay. Can we please do a little Pythagoras on 6.5 and 8.6? A little Pythagoras? What is this going to give us? It's going to give us that uh, hypotenuse. Do you guys agree? Okay, so this right here, 10.78 from here to here. Subtract 21.4, and that answer we just got, this one here is going to be 10.62 from there to there. 
Okay, I used 21.4 to take away that hypotenuse that I got, 10.78. And that's how I got 10.62. So now I have those two hypotenuses that are pretty much almost the same because they both have to make 21.4. I use Pythagoras 8.6 and 6.5 to get this, subtract from, to get this. Now that I have that hypotenuse, I can use this 53 degrees to get that x. Okay? That x is what label? Okay, good. And I have the height, right? So I got to use sine 53 x over that 10.62. Timesing sine 53 by 10.62. 8.48. All right, so there's x. x is my op, right? Okay, so now to get y, to get y, you can see clearly that I have this hype, 10.62, this op, 8.48. So why don't I just use the short side Pythagoras to get y? The short side Pythagoras would be the op, or pardon me, the hype squared, take away the other short side squared. And there's my value for y. I got 6.39. Okay. Last but not least is the value for h. h is that very tall length. I know that h is made up of two, two heights, the height of x and the height of 8.6. So h is equal to 8.6 plus 8.48. And we're done, baby. 17.08. Okay? With two minutes to spare. Right? Oh, I forgot to put uh, the answer to the thing at the bottom. Yeah, you can do the calculator exchange.